Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this episode, we're going to go over how to get food because we're going to need we're going to need food. Now, last episode, you remember we went over how to make a, a wall around our house so we can protect our base from from monsters wandering in because that's no fun. And so I uh, I took some time between episodes to put a few more torches out around the uh, the house that keeps that'll keep monsters from spawning here. They can still spawn out there, but at least they won't be right around here. Uh, I kind of went around the entire base a little bit. You can see how that looks in the night there. And also, I forgot when I was making this to put torches down in the trenches. So I went I went down and I, I put some more some torches around the edges there. You can kind of see them. So that keeps, you know, monsters from being in the trenches when I when I get back from a long day of of adventuring and harvesting stuff and farming. So I'm going to go to bed right now because uh, it's, it's, it's pretty dark and I can't do any farming now and it's best just to get, you know, get, uh, get some sleep and make sure uh, no monsters come back. My door is open, which is funny, but I have this wall, so, so I'm safe. All right, so here we go. First things first, before we farm, we're going to need some different tools. Let me go back inside and show you. So I want a couple things. I want to make a hoe for gardening. That looks like this. All right. See, once again, the shape roughly looks like this thing. So I get that, and that's for that's for making farmland. And in farmland, I can plant crops. And then I'm going to get an axe. Axes look like this. All right. See that? And I'm going to use an axe to get wood. I can I can punch wood with my bare hands and harvest it that way. But it'll be much faster if I use an axe to do so. And I'm going to go down there and clear out bunch of these trees over here and I'm gonna you know chop up wood until the axe breaks that's usually how I like to harvest wood I get one axe worth of wood so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you all of that I'm probably just gonna, gonna jump down here and uh, make sure there's no monsters that appeared last night no it looks pretty good I'm gonna chop down a bunch of these trees and when I'm done chopping them down I will uh, I'll get right back to you okay so we will we will see you soon. Okay, I want to take a quick break from from chopping down trees to show you something. So I made a little bridge here across with dirt because I had a lot of extra dirt. So I figured, you know, why not? And I chopped down some trees over here, and actually I'll show you. So you can see, kind of over here, how I chopped away all these trees. The leaves are still there. Now, when you take all the wood out of a tree, the leaves will eventually disintegrate. And, and go away. And when that happens, a few things will happen. So one, some of them will drop like this. That's a tree sapling. See that? That's a oak sapling. You can use those to plant more trees uh, in case you want to do that. And sometimes, look at, look at this, sometimes from an oak tree, you'll get an apple. Uh, and that's cool. And apple, apples are, are pretty good. Uh, you can eat them. They're food. See, I have three hunger missing, so I eat an apple. And now I've got you know a little over one hunger missing, so that's good. So apples are apples are good. They're not the most uh, the most efficient food because they don't always fall out of trees, and you can't rely on them. But they're they're nice to have when when you just happen to find them. Look at that chicken. Look at him. He's in the tree. Just what are you doing up there, chicken? Well, I guess he's I guess he's having a good time. So we're just gonna leave him. We're gonna leave him there. So I'm just gonna keep chopping down trees, and I will uh, I'll get back with you shortly. I just wanted to show you about apples and saplings. I'm going to get those trees right there. So I'm not quite done with this axe, but I wanted to show you one more thing before I'm done here. So you see how this tree is covered in leaves, as many trees are? So you might want to get to the wood there more easily, and you're like, well, I'll just use this axe and cut away these, these leaves. That's actually not a very good idea. You don't want to do that. When you use a tool on something other than what it's intended for, and axes are not intended for leaves, you actually use up that tool much faster. And uh, so what you want to do is have something in your bar here, in your in your inventory hot bar here, something next to the axe, like a piece of dirt, which is fine, uh, that you can switch quickly switch between, so that you can just you know knock away some leaves like this with the dirt, and then switch back to your axe, and you can get the actual wood that you want from the tree. So that's that's just a simple trick that'll save you uh, save you some durability on your axe. Okay, this axe is almost done. Oh, look, an apple! Sweet! I'm going to pick up an apple. Uh, you know, nosh on that in a bit when I'm a little more hungry. 
and I'm going to keep chopping down trees, so I'll be back shortly. Now you can see the sun's going down, and I still have a little bit more of this axe to go. And so monsters are coming out soon, and I don't want to get eaten by monsters, but I also really want to use up this axe, so I'm still digging with it. And hopefully, hopefully I can get home before too many monsters show up and, uh, and eat me. Almost there. Oh, there we go. That's the end of it. But now I have this tree hanging, and I don't want to leave it hanging there, so I'm going to keep punching out this wood. This is incredibly dangerous, what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Switching over to my sword, in case there's any monsters between me and home. Oh, there's a creeper over there. Two creepers. Okay, let's not get noticed by those. Let's, uh, let's go here. Uh, does he see me? Not yet. Alright, so far so good. But, there's a spider. See that? And a zombie. And a oh, a zombie wearing gold armor. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take this guy out. We want this zombie too. Oh man, skeletons. Oh, it's really dangerous all of a sudden. Oh, and a spider. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is why this is why we need walls that protect us from zombies, kids. Oh my goodness. Whoa, this is incredibly dangerous. I'm not wearing any armor either. What am I thinking? Oh no, he's gonna get me. Oh no, I've only got one half a heart left. Run, 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 run. Please, please, please get up the ladder. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to get in my house here and we go to bed. Oh, I can't sleep. There are monsters nearby. Oh, man. There's monsters out there waiting for me. And I'm really hurt. See, look, I have half a heart left and I'm missing three hunger. So I'm not actually, I'm not actually healing those hearts. So if I want to heal, I need, I need food. And I don't have a lot of it. I have this apple. That's not going to be enough, maybe. Well, we'll see. Let's eat that apple. Now, this this next part is kind of gross. Uh, this here, that's rotten flesh. That comes from zombies. When you when you kill zombies, they drop zombie meat, and that's it's not good for you. Uh, but in a pinch, you can eat some. So I'm going to eat one piece. And see how it turns my hunger bar kind of green there? That's because uh, I'm makes me hungry. It's not it's not good for you, but in a pinch it fills up your hunger enough that you can start to heal. So you see my hearts are slowly coming back there. There we go. There we go. So you see uh you see what happened there? You see what happened? I I wanted some wood. I waited till dark. It got a little too dark. And I was like, oh I should run home to the safety of my, my base, but I didn't. And then I almost got uh I almost got killed. So let that be a lesson to you. Right, let's see if the, if the monsters have wandered off. Yes, they did. Okay, so I can go to bed now. So the monsters will still be there in the morning when I wake up, but now the sun is up. Hear that? You hear that? That's the sound of a, a zombie and a, or a skeleton uh, burning in the sun. Let's see. I don't see him, so he must have burned up somewhere. Um, still a creeper over there, so it's not safe to go out just yet. Let's see. Oh, look, there's. You see that guy? He was he was burning. So, so what you can do in the morning sometimes when you saw some monsters burn, is you can go out out into the uh, the world and see if they dropped anything when they uh, when they burned up. Oh, this guy did not did not. There's a creeper over there. Let's hope he doesn't see me. I don't really want to deal with a creeper right now. So, okay, this this all has been very distracting, and I just wanted to show you how to farm stuff. So, oh look, there he is. See, it's dark under there. He's not being hit by the sunlight, so he's... Hmm, he's still trapped there. Alright, we're going to have to do some cleanup here, so I'm just going to... Just be very careful with skeletons, because they have a bow, and they can try to shoot you, so... Get him there, hopefully he doesn't, uh... Yeah, yeah. Alright, got him. Drop there. Oh, good, that's good. He dropped some arrows and some bones. We'll want those bones later. Alright, so we have lots of wood, and we have everything we need for that. So we're going to go back inside. I'm going to make some basic preparations and then I'm going to show you how to how to make a farm. Let's go over here. So we we have the hoe. We already made we already made that. There that is. And we are we are sick and tired of eating zombie meat. We don't want to eat any more zombie meat because it's gross and we just don't like it. So we're not going to do that. So we need wood. We need a bunch more of this. I'm going to take all of this wood, put it right here and turn all of that into wood planks. So that's a lot of wood planks. Now the reason I need so many wood planks is because I need a lot of sticks. Alright, so I got all these sticks. Why do I need all these sticks? Well, I'll show you. Because with sticks, I can make something very important for farming, which are fences. 
See that? 16 fences. Going to make some more fences. Keep cutting these stacks in half. Get some more fences. All right, that's that's probably plenty fences for now. All right, let's let's assume that it is for now. So I've got my fences. Uh, I've got I've got a hoe. That's good. And the last thing I need to make a farm, I need some seeds. So now I have a bunch of seeds from earlier, uh, which I have here, and I can use these. But I'm also going to show you how to get more of them. And actually, I'm going to put all of this in the chest. That's a very important rule of Minecraft is never to carry everything with you uh, because what happens if you're out there and a, a skeleton gets you like like he almost did? Well I would have dropped all my stuff out there when I had to go back in the dark and get it and that's incredibly dangerous so I don't want to do that so I'm gonna I'm gonna take eight of this wood though uh, two more and I'm gonna make another chest so I can have some more some more stuff to, to put stuff in. Now here's a funny thing about chests. This this doesn't make a lot of sense, but you can do this. Look at this. I can take this chest and put it right on top of that. Now I can't open it because there's something above it. So I'm just gonna just gonna punch that out right there. There we go. And I'm I'm just gonna go around the back and just I'll show you. So this is this is kind of silly, but look at that. There it is. So I'm gonna put some dirt in there. I don't need that much dirt. Put this arrow. It's a spider eye. I don't want that. Uh, put some bones in there too. Got all these seeds, but let me uh, let me show you. Let me show you how to get all this other stuff you need. All right. So we have we have those things. Now let's go over here. Take our ladder down. Looks like the creepers have all disappeared. So that's good. That'll that'll make this safer. So we're we're gonna go down to the water. Now you don't need to grow wheat, which is what we're going to grow. You don't need to grow wheat next to water. It will grow faster, however, if there's water. And so we're gonna we're just gonna come down here and we're gonna we're gonna make a little wheat farm. So the first thing you need are seeds. Now I have plenty, you can see that, but how do you get more? Well you take a hoe like this and you there you go, and you mow this tall grass and eventually there you go. Some of it is seeds. So that's that's how you do it. I'm just gonna clear a little bit more space. So there we are. Okay, great news. So here's what we're gonna do. We have water here, right? And we're just gonna use the hoe with the right mouse button or the right trigger to to make some farmland. Now see how this is darker and that turned darker than this? That's because this is getting hydrated. It's becoming wet from the water. And the water will hydrate four blocks of land out like this. See that? So this this is four blocks in that's hydrated this will eventually hydrate eventually all of this will hydrate and that'll be cool now once we have that all right we've made our little made a little farm plot like that we're gonna plant some seeds uh, again she's using the right click or right trigger and put those right in the ground and now we have we have seeds growing well that's great now here's the problem all right you're like oh this is cool oh, that's the seeds I can walk over it yeah that's fine Okay, that's great. But what if I what if I jump up and down on it? What if I jump on the seeds? Well, oh, I see. I shouldn't have done that because now I killed my seeds. Oh, okay. I don't want to do that. So let's uh let's rehoe that and boom, more seeds. So you don't want to jump on seeds. Now you also don't want animals like sheep or cows or monsters jumping on your seeds, right? So how do we protect them? Well, good news, everybody. That's what fences are for. And I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make a, a little more room here. I should have brought a shovel with me, but I didn't. So now we're doing this. Okay. So boom. So we take a, a fence like this. Ah, oh, that's nice. Start putting a fence around it. There we are. All right. Um. Hmm. I didn't think about that. Now monsters can get in there. All right, you know, we're going to risk it. We're going to risk that monsters won't come up this way. They won't swim up and get over there. Take that flower out. All right, and so now we have we have a little nice little farm area. Now, how do you get into this without without jumping up on this? Well, there's a solution, and that is to make a gate, which I completely forgot to make, so now I'm going to run back to the house and make that gate. Okay, so I'm back in the house. And I have wood planks, which I need, and I have sticks, which I need. Now, if you're playing the Xbox version, you might not have fence gates yet, uh, which look like this. 
See that? The sticks for the fence, and then two of these. It's kind of like a door, and so that's a fence gate. So we'll take that. We only need the one right now. So now if you're on the Xbox and you don't have a fence gate, which I forget, you may or may not have it, you can instead make a door. Just a regular door, and you can use that. But fence gates look better, and so that's what I want to use. I want to use a fence gate. So I'm going to run back over here. Okay, I'm back. So remember, the fence is made of wood. So did I leave? I left my axe back in the house. All right. So I can. You can still punch it, though. You can still punch. You can still punch fences. It takes longer, but yeah, you can still you can still get what you need. So I have fence, fence, one block here. I put the fence gate right there. See, it looks a little different. So I can right-click that or right trigger. Most things you want to use, you're going to use the right-click or the right trigger. So I open that up, and now I can get to my farm which I will not I will not jump on because that'll ruin my farm. So look at this. You can see some of these now I open that. Some of these are, are new and these these are growing a little bit. Now wheat takes takes some time to grow, right? And maybe you're hungry, you're like, man, oh, I'm so hungry now. I wish I wish I had food. Well, I have forgotten to get the one thing I was gonna do. So I'm gonna go do that. Alright, so I'm back here and I found my bones, which I meant to bring down here, uh, but forgot because I am being very forgetful today. And if you take bones and put them in there, you can make bone meal. Alright, so I have six bone meal. And I can hear, you hear that spider? There's definitely a spider around, so I'm going to be fast. If you use bone meal on, look at that, if you use it on wheat, it grows instantly. So I'm going to gather a bunch of it, right that, and now it gave me some more seeds when I, uh, there, there they are, it gave me some more seeds when I harvested it, so I'm going to replant those right away. I'm going to get out of this, and the sun's going down, and having learned my lesson from yesterday, I'm going to go home, because my sword is almost broken, and I'm not wearing any armor. Look at that, see, I'm just wearing my nice suit and bow tie. No armor, so I'm very squishy right now, and I don't want to get eaten, so I'm going to take my hard-earned wheat, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to get some sleep real quick, so there'll be less monsters in the morning, or rather, I should say, fewer monsters in the morning. All right. Now, I've got three wheat, which is what I need to make bread. Look at that. Three wheat makes bread. And bread bread is an okay food, right? It'll, it'll get you by, but ultimately, you're going to want something better than just bread. See, look at that. About two, two almost three, almost three uh, hunger points. It's a beautiful morning. Open the door. Now, you may be wondering where I got all these bones. Now, if you don't remember, I got them from skeletons. When you kill skeletons or skeletons die, you get bones. Bones become bone meal. One bone becomes three bone meal. All right? Three bone meal means you can grow three wheat instantly. Three wheat is one piece of bread. So you can think of one bone as one piece of bread. All right? Now we need a lot more wheat for what we're going to do next. All right, what we're going to do next is is get some cows. Remember how I said let's not kill all the cows? Well, you are going to be glad you did not because of what I'm about to show you. So let me just get some more wheat real fast. It's going to take a second to harvest all this. Look at that. See? Knock all that down. That's good. Have a have some more seeds now. Plant those. There we are. Mr. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sir, I'm going to kind of push him off a little bit. There we are. Excellent. So now we've got that. Still have some more bone meal. Don't want to jump on the plants, so I'm going to come back around. Just, you know, make some more of this. Almost done. All right. Knock away all that. Put the seeds back. This is always very important. Replant our wheat immediately so we, we can... Excuse Will you get off? There we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's because I have seeds in my hand. He wants he wants these seeds. Well, you can't have them. I'm using them for something else. Maybe later, but not not right now. All right, so we still have some fences, and this is probably enough. I, I really probably should get some more, so I'm just going to gonna grab a few more fences. I'll be right back. Okay, so I made some more stuff. You can see here I made some ladders. Uh, three of those. I made a bunch more fences. I have 19 now. 
I have this extra piece of wood here, eight of these. Maybe, maybe you're like, what? What's that for? Well, I'll show you soon. And I have all this wheat. Now the wheat is important. I'm also making some torches real quick. Let's get that. I want those. So I'm gonna leave my house here. And go around. I'm gonna find some cows. So I see a cow over there. I want to find some cows that are close because otherwise it gets gets pretty irritating. Ah, here we go. It's a couple of cows over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump off this. We're gonna clear some space. Just you know, knock down some grass. Uh, there we go. Have some seeds in the meantime. Just holding down the button and getting all that. All right. So I'm gonna make a little enclosure here. I'm not gonna close it off all the way yet because I want I want an opening for uh, for the cows to go into. Now, hopefully, this is this is good. I'll uh, see one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's going to be good enough. That's going to work. I'm going to put this little stack like that. Okay, actually, that'll be that'll be perfect. So we're going to do that. So I've got six of these left, and I need some cows to come with me. Now I can I can kind of push them, push them along a little bit, and, but they don't they don't really like that. It takes and they're like, hey man, and they kind of wander off on their own, and it's difficult to push them where you want them to go sometimes. So so that's one way to do it. And they kind of wander off, though, so that's not as much fun. So how do we get cows to, to come with us? Well, it's easy. When you have wheat, just put some wheat in your hand. Oh, look at that. Oh, now they're interested. Like, hey, man, you got some wheat over there? Oh, yeah, man, I got I got lots. I got 15 wheat. You guys want you guys want some wheat? Come on in, guys. Come on in. So I'm going to get them in here. And once they're in here, I'm going to very quickly switch to my fences. Aha! And then I'm going to just, you know, boom, put some fences in there. And boom, now I have cows in there. All right, great. But how do I get in, you say? You didn't build a, a gate. No, I did not. Instead, I built this, and I put this ladder right there. Now watch this. I can jump, climb the ladder, and boom, I'm in here. And then the cows can't get out, and I can get in, and I didn't need to make a gate, and that's really fast and fun. So, well, now I've got some cows in here. You're like, okay, well, now you got cows. What are you going to do with them? Well, I'm going to make more cows. Take wheat, give one wheat to this cow and one wheat to that cow. See, they're in love. And they, they smash their faces together and boom, look at that, baby cow. There's a baby cow. Now, pretty soon that baby cow will become a regular sized cow and we'll have four cows, so that's good. And we can keep doing that. We can keep making more cows and when we need beef, we can, we can take a couple cows and get their beef and their leather and we keep making more cows. So the goal is to always, always have some cows on hand. Right, always have enough cows, so you can uh, so you can farm them. So, congratulations to us. Now, maybe you're saying, well, surely there can't be this can't be it. Well, no, it's not. I'm gonna put some more torches uh, out here, just to make sure this is nice and lit up in case I need to come back out here in the evening. Good to have torches on your farm, and I'm actually gonna put some torches all the way down here by my my wheat farm. Now, why am I going to do that? Well, there's there's a very good reason. Uh, torches, I'm sorry. What I mean to say is wheat grows needs light to grow, obviously, right? All plants need light to grow. Now, the funny thing is wheat doesn't need sunlight to grow, necessarily. Any light will do, all right? So I'm going to put some torches around here, and that way the wheat will continue to grow at night. Look at that. So that should be enough light to help it continue to grow. And this way I don't have to come down here with bones all the time. I can just leave it to grow. And I still have plenty of wheat, which is good news. And look, I can also make sheep follow me. Hey man, what's up? Is that Bufo? Maybe. That might be Bufo again. Well, I'm glad to see you're doing well. So both cows and sheep want to follow me now. And that's that's nice, but I don't actually need sheep just yet. Eventually I will want more sheep and I'll get some more sheep and I'll put them in their own mm -hmm. sheep pen and then we'll get some shears and we'll start harvesting wool uh, and the sheep will regrow the wool. But we'll talk about that mm -hmm. all of that much later. In the meantime, in the meantime I think that may be that may be it for today. We have some wheat, we have some cows growing over here uh, that's nice. And since these cows are, are growing over here, we can actually clear out some of these other cows uh, without 
without any worries because we're going to have plenty of cows now. So I'm going to grab a couple of these. Grab this guy. Hello, how are you? Uh, got plenty of that. I want some leather from these guys so I can show you something else that's cool. Excuse me. Hi, do you have any leather? You, wow, no leather. Nothing. All right, well, maybe we'll, we'll deal with leather some other time. In the meantime, I have cows. I have some wheat growing down there. And I have wheat in my hand, which is good news, because now I can make some bread, and that will, uh, that will, that will be nice. I'll be able to eat something regularly. All right, here we go. All right, door. There we are. Take this. Uh, let's see. Put some bread in there. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I have plenty. Excellent. Well, there you are. I have four, four bread. The sun is going down. It's been quite an eventful couple of days, right? I have a wheat farm over there. Uh, I saw Bufo again. Hey, man. Nice to see you again. And now I have some cows over here. And look, there's a, there's a little baby cow. So he'll grow up pretty quickly. Probably tomorrow he'll, he'll become a, a grown-up cow. And that's it. Look at that. You're really coming along. You've got your impervious fortress here that is monster-proof. Uh, nothing gets in and, and gets to you. Maybe need some more torches over there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to risk it. I'm going to jump out there and put one more torch right there. All right. I'm going to run around the front. Uh, you got a wheat farm. you got a cow farm. you got bread. You are doing really well. I'm, I am very proud of you. Good job, us. All right. I'm going to go to bed. See you guys in the next episode.